In this lesson, we are going to learn how to perform DNS enumeration with Nmap. So first of all, of course, what is DNS enumeration? In fact, what is DNS? Good question, so I'll answer them. So DNS, the domain name system, works at the application layer level of the OSI model. DNS is a system, and it's used to convert a computer's host name into an IP address on the internet. For example, if a computer needs to communicate with the web server hackeracademy.uk, your computer needs the IP address of the web server hackeracademy.uk. It is the job of the DNS to convert the host name to the IP address of the web server. DNS uses both UDP and TCP. Now, of course, if you need more information about this, you can just visit our DNS lesson in section two. So DNS enumeration, it's one of the most popular discovery tasks available to create a profile of your target. It's the act of detecting and enumerating all possible DNS records from a particular domain name. This includes host names, DNS record names, DNS record types, TTLs, IP addresses, and a little bit more, depending upon how much information that you're looking for. So after DNS enumeration is complete, unauthenticated users can then use this information to observe internal network records and obtain useful DNS information that allows the attacker to access a complete DNS map. Now, of course, there are many ways to perform DNS enumeration. Nmap has multiple scripts for DNS enumeration, as you can see here. These scripts will try to get information um, in other ways as well. So in this lesson, we are going to use DNS brute as well as DNS zone transfer scripts. So let's have a look at these scripts and how do they work? Well, first, the DNS brute will attempt to enumerate DNS host names by brute force, right? guessing of common subdomains. Second, zone transfer. Okay, hold on. What is DNS zone transfer? So DNS zone transfer, it's also sometimes known by the inducing DNS query type AXFR. These are requests for a zone transfer. In other words, it's a type of DNS transaction. It's one of the many mechanisms available for administrators to replicate DNS databases across a set of DNS servers. A zone transfer script sends a request, zone transfer query, to a DNS server. The area to be queried is determined by examining the name given on the command line, the host name of the DNS server, or it can be specified with the script argument DNS zone transfer dot domain. If the query is successful, all domains and domain types are returned with common type specific data. So let's try these scripts. Open up Kali Linux in VirtualBox. Enter username and password. Open terminal. Enter sudo su dash. So I'll give you root permissions. Enter the root password. Now, in this test, we are going to use zone transfer.me for DNS enumeration because this website is developed just for you to get some experience regarding security problems related to DNS zone transfer. All right. So, first, we'll try the DNS brute script. So write nmap p53 for specifying the port because DNS works on port 53. And then the script name DNS dash brute. So we'll need to specify the domain name because we want to get DNS information about zone transfer.me. So we'll add the domain argument to the command and the target DNS server to find the DNS server of the target, you can use the domain information groper tool. 
So it's a powerful command line tool for querying DNS name servers. And look at that. You can see that the script shows us the subdomain names. Second, DNS zone transfer script. Write and map dash P53 for specifying the port and selecting the script name DNS dash zone dash transfer. And we'll need to specify the domain name. So we need an argument, right? Double dash script dash args DNS dash zone dash transfer dot domain zone transfer dot me and the target DNS server. So as you can see, the script shows us the methods, the descriptions, as well as the DNS records about the domain. 